Hi everyone, I'm Jeffrey Rodriguez, celebrity makeup artist here with my friend Diana and here's my how-to's on how to do makeup on pale skin with black hair. Diana, what do you think you look? I think you look fantastic. I love it. Well, here's how we did it. So Diana, we're going to start your look and to complement your pale complexion and dark hair, I think the brows are the most important focus. So I'm going to take Makeup Forever's brow pencil in shade number four and lightly fill in the entire brow. This is the perfect soft brownish taupey shade, so it won't overpower the complexion, but give you a very soft definition. I'll blend that with the brush. This is the HD um, Cream Blusher, one of my favorite products from Makeup Forever. I'm going to use my ring finger to just do a little dab right on the apples of your cheek. This is a very soft shade of pink, so again, it's not going to really overpower the face, just going to give you a nice, soft, subtle glow. And as I'm just gently rubbing, almost no pressure at all, key for applying anything with cream onto the skin is not to drag. I'm going to do a layer of shadow, the diamond eyes, and this pale color is going to be your first base color. Just one sweep all over the lid. I'm going to take the same shade and do a V in the inner corner. I love this trick. You can use this with most neutral eyeshadows or whatever base color you're using. And this really opens up the eyes. We're going to use this really lovely, rich, black, intense liner from Makeup Forever. It's a very strong pigment. Close your eyes and turn this way. The best way to achieve your line is to do the whole lash line in a very fine line. I'm going to have a little bit of an extension or sweep upward. And then from there, I will lightly fill in to give a little bit of elongation and lift. And this glides on effortlessly. Look to camera, please. Beautiful. <clears throat> it's a perfect accent for this look with your fair skin. This clean line just punctuates your eyes beautifully. and looks very fresh and modern at the same time. Now, because this is a very classic look, I've chosen the classic red. I think this works beautiful for the whole look. It also works, I know you love to wear red lipstick. I'm going to use the Aqua Lip Liner first. Open slightly, please. From the corners, I don't know if you use a liner at home, but if you do, I want you to try this new technique of moving in from the corners inward. I applied a little bit of foundation onto your lips prior to the color. Now what this will all do is act as a nice barrier for the lip color to last a lot longer. And because it's red, you want to make sure that everything stays on perfectly. This will have to prevent your color from bleeding, and it fills in any lines that we have on the lips and keeps everything nice and smooth. I'm going to blend the color in with the brush. Smiling at home when you look into the mirror is a great way to get a nice, even application of lipstick. Good. Now the lip liner is all blended. We have a nice base color. Beautiful. <clears throat> Finally, onto the Rouge Artist Intense. This is number 42. This is a really classic red for you, Diana. And this is a classic red for most people to wear. But I love this rich pigmentation. You're going to get a really rich payoff of color from any products of Makeup Forever, but particularly the lipsticks. Open slightly with that little smile again. I'm going to go from the center of the lips. Beautiful color for you. Glide on evenly from the corners. Wow, that is just a rich, vibrant red. Turn this way, love. By using a lip brush, you do get a lot more applications from a lipstick. So, just a little word of professional advice. I know it's easier to take the lipstick onto the lips, but you might get a little bit more bang for your buck using a brush. Using a little bit of concealer, Diana, mm -hmm. just a little tiny bit onto the tip of a brush. 
smile for me. Go right on the edge of your lip line, especially when you're wearing red lips, when you can really see any kind of flaw or mistake. This will clean up the lip line for you and protect the lip line further on the outside. So great tip overall for everyone who wears lip color, but especially when you wear lip, red lip color. Well, Diana, once again, thanks for being here and sharing this experience. You look fantastic. I'm Jeffrey Rodriguez. Thanks for watching.